Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. I have Aaron Hernandez in a keeper fantasy football pool. I've been following Aaron Hernandez's career. Quite frankly, he is an integral piece of my fantasy football team. To anyone who, like me, has Aaron Hernandez on their fantasy football team, or who is thinking about drafting Aaron Hernandez, especially now that the Patriots have added his college quarterback, Tim Tebow, to all of those people, I say, stay away. Aaron Hernandez might not play a down of football this season. His career is in jeopardy, certainly in the short term. Let's back away for a moment from the current murder investigation, right, in which Apparently, shortly after the murder, a cleaning crew went through Aaron Hernandez's house cleaning it, right? Let's also overlook the fact that <clears throat> shortly after the murder, allegedly, the surveillance system <clears throat> for Aaron Hernandez's house got destroyed. Let's overlook all of that. The key thing you need to know is that before all of this took place, before someone died, Aaron Hernandez allegedly, according to a lawsuit filed against him, <clears throat> was in a car with a friend, someone who knew him. This is not a case of mistaken identity, right? This is actually someone who knew him for a long time. He's in a vehicle with a friend. This happened this off season when somehow Aaron Hernandez had a loaded firearm in his hand, right? Think about the lack of luck if you believe it's accidental. Hernandez allegedly had a firearm in his hand which happened to be loaded which then happened to be pointed at his passenger, the friend, and then happened to go off, causing the friend to lose an eye. That friend is now suing Aaron Hernandez. Now, it's possible that Aaron Hernandez is a great guy who just happens to find himself in chaotic situations. Perhaps, right? Perhaps that firearm wasn't supposed to be loaded. Perhaps they hit a bump in the road and Aaron Hernandez had the firearm pointed someplace else and then it happened to get pointed at his friend. Perhaps the firearm is defective, has a hair trigger and just happened to go off, pointed at the friend's face, right? Perhaps, let's not talk about the murder, right, which is a separate incident. Perhaps Aaron Hernandez has a cleaning crew who makes regularly scheduled visits to Hernandez's house. Maybe they were scheduled to come there beforehand. And perhaps, just by chance, Aaron Hernandez's security system, his surveillance system at his house, just happened to get destroyed a very short time after someone got killed, right? A very short time after Aaron Hernandez accidentally shot someone, allegedly, um, in his vehicle. 
right? All I'm saying to folks is uh, they need to understand that the NFL, not just the criminal justice system, but the NFL has a vested interest in what its representatives, and yes, that includes its athletes, do away from the field. We've seen athletes get suspended for things less serious than shooting someone in the face or allegedly obstructing justice in a murder investigation, right? We've seen players get suspended for games, for temper tantrums that didn't involve gunshots and didn't involve criminal obstruction. So even if the police, the district attorney's office, doesn't arrest Aaron Hernandez, let's say they no longer consider him a person of interest. Let's say that they're willing to overlook the cleaned up possible crime scene. The broken security system, right? By the way, according to reports, the system was broken after the alleged murder, right? Let's say the DA is lax and isn't going to pursue Aaron Hernandez. Understand that the NFL is a different jurisdiction. They're a private jurisdiction. If Roger Goodell sits down and doesn't like what he sees, when he reads the complaint of the civil action brought against Hernandez for shooting a guy in the face, right? If Goodell does even a cursory investigation, talks to the alleged victim in that incident, talks to their lawyer, and concludes that Aaron Hernandez was pointing a loaded gun at a passenger in a negligent fashion, Aaron Hernandez could be suspended for several games. Worse yet, if Roger Goodell doesn't like the explanations that Aaron Hernandez gives as to why his house was clean, while of course there was a criminal investigation going on for a homicide, right? If Goodell feels that Aaron Hernandez is being elusive or evasive, the NFL could suspend him. Understand too, this is the National Football League. Good luck finding a contract with the word guaranteed in it. If the New England Patriots feel that they can't have an employee involved in multiple incidents that cast a, let's be charitable, less than positive light on the organization, Robert Kraft might feel that it's best to cut bait early even with big money to be paid to Aaron Hernandez. I believe the fan base would forgive the team if the team draws a line and says we can't have anyone on this roster involved in shooting people in the face followed up by possible obstruction of a homicide investigation. Right? Some fans might even be impressed that the team has standards, right? So understand, Aaron Hernandez faces a mountain right now. He has to right now. He has to survive NFL scrutiny. He also has to survive criminal scrutiny. Could it possibly get worse than being investigated in a homicide investigation? Let me go one step further. You know how these things are. Someone hired a cleaning crew to go through Aaron Hernandez's house. Right now, if this was done in the normal course, let's say every Tuesday Aaron Hernandez gets his house clean, this wouldn't still be in the news. Let me tell you, if the athlete himself asked the cleaning crew to come through his house and to do a comprehensive cleaning in a manner that wasn't in the normal course. In other words, hey, come over right now and clean my house. 
even though I don't have a scheduled appointment. If that happened, Hernandez is finished. A district attorney is going to have enough to arrest him on obstruction. That doesn't pass the smell test, right? Someone gets killed, you're under investigation, and then people are making special trips to your house to clean it head to toe. Understand too, there are reports that not only was the security system smashed, but a cell phone was smashed. We've all watched TV shows like CSI where they've been able to track the alleged perpetrator's movements by monitoring his cell phone, right? I don't know what's true or not. I'm just talking about reports here. But if the reports are true that Hernandez's security system and his cell phone were both smashed shortly after some guy died, I believe a reasonable juror could leap to the conclusion that Aaron Hernandez might have something to hide. To sum up, I don't know what the truth is with regard to Aaron Hernandez. I don't. Right? Apparently right now, nor does the NFL or law enforcement. But what I do know is that I'll be very surprised if Aaron Hernandez is on the field opening day. Even if he's healthy, the team might be reluctant to put him out there. Think about if you're the Patriots. Are you going to spend a lot of time in camp on plays designed to go to Aaron Hernandez when he could get arrested at any time and could be locked up? for some period of time. Understand, he doesn't have to have committed the murder. If he's involved in a cover-up of the murder, obstruction in any way, shape, or form protecting someone else, that by him itself could put him away for longer than an entire NFL season. If you, like me, were relying on Aaron Hernandez to be your tight end, word of advice, you need to start looking elsewhere and you need to do so now before your fantasy football draft. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Let's talk about what's going on with Aaron Hernandez and the National Football League in general. Thanks for stopping by.